Well, joining me now to talk more about cancer vaccines is Andreas Kaufmann, a biologist and cancer researcher from Berlin's Charité Hospital. Thank you very much for being with us here on Tomorrow Today. How close are we to seeing these personalized vaccines against cancer on a large scale? I believe that we are rather close to seeing these vaccines uh, being applied to patients in clinical studies. And after the successful um, results of these studies, we will see um, uh, marketing of these vaccines. All right, well, as we saw in the film, there is no one size fits all vaccine. How different do these vaccines then have to be to target the specific cancers? It depends on the cancer. If it's a spontaneous cancer, like kidney cancer or lung cancer, then they have to be individualized. But for example, in cervical cancer, where we know that human papillomaviruses induce the transformation, the, the occurrence of the cancer, we can have vaccines that are more broadly um, applicable. All right, why is it taking so long to develop vaccines like these? Uh, actually, we need to identify the specific target structures on the tumor cells uh, for individualized cancers. They may be very different from individual to individual. And then we have to overcome an uh, immune system inability. Mm -hmm. uh, and we have learned a lot about this, but we are not there yet to really combat every cancer. All right, we've been talking about preventative measures uh, so far, but what about people who already have cancer? What is being done? What new approaches are being developed to treat these cancers? Yeah, we have learned that these tumors can suppress the immune response quite effic effectively. So we, um, we need to find new ways of counteracting this immune suppression uh, so the vaccines are more effective. All right, now you mentioned cervical cancer. Um, you've been working on a vaccine for cervical cancer. What progress have you made? Well, I've been working on therapeutic vaccines. Uh, we do see they are immunogenic. They produce an immune response, uh, but they have not been effective to cure patients, actually. We now have uh, the prophylactic vaccines, and I'm also working in this field um, to understand how the mechanism of these prophylactic vaccines are. Okay, now you mentioned HPV, the human papilloma virus, um, which causes cervical cancer. Now, theoretically, this can wipe out cancer if young women receive it early enough. Um, having said that, would you say that Germany is carrying out an effective vaccine program? Unfortunately not. We have vaccination coverage of 40% only, uh, the US of 30% of young women um, and girls. Uh, Australia has 90% coverage. Well, why is it so low here then? Uh, this depends on the um, system how vaccination is applied. We don't have school-based programs. We have an opportunistic system where women who want to get or girls who want to get vaccinated have to go to the doctor. There is no school-based program. Okay. All right, Andreas Kaufmann, we're going to leave it there, but we thank you very much for this discussion today.